they kept us pretty in the loop. And then, uh, you know, they did a huge conference call to see exactly how much this is impacting our training. And, um, you know, and, and it was it was a huge thing. You know, they even brought up that the, uh, you know, drug testing has stopped. And I'm like, that that's a huge thing, especially, you know, with track and field. That is a high-risk sport. And, uh, you know, if you want to keep it level, you have to have all those outlets going at full capacity and it's just not being achieved so with it being postponed i'm a little numb from it (laughs) but uh it it, it needed to be done what kind of training have you been doing right now so like i said um, i'm doing chair turns balance drills my husband and i luckily um our university kind of gave us a heads up and was like hey we're probably going to be shutting down the weight room. So we hurry up and we dipped into our own savings to uh, put a small little weight room in our garage. Um, you know, any chance that we find an open field, you know, with some with a concrete slab next to it, you know, we're doing turns in this open field just to keep with the rhythm, keep with uh, just training. And, uh, you know, I have some training partners and friends, you know, uh, we have our own implements. Um, because we have five post collisions here training in Southern Illinois. Um, you know, Josh Freeman, Alex Morgan, uh, Daniel Roberts are all who I train with. So we all have our own specific implements that we have that we care for. We don't touch each other's and we always keep about six to eight feet apart from each other. Okay. And so how have, how do you think postponing it a year will impact athletes who are training for these games? It is definitely going to be a challenge. I feel like it's going to give um, a little bit more of a relaxed feeling that, okay, yes, I still need to train, but I don't have to put myself in a situation that could put my life in jeopardy by contracting this coronavirus or giving it to someone else and possibly hindering them. Um, I feel like it's going to be it's going to be a little bit better on that stance. Hopefully, this all gets taken care of and that you know we're able to figure out and get you know a vaccination and kind of get that going through the system um you know because it could be where in two months you know the u.s has it under control but it could be going rampant in another country and then us all going to tokyo and then bringing it again back home um it's definitely i feel for these athletes that you know just keep training you know take your time off if you're going to do it take it off now rest up, stay home, and then, uh, you know, hopefully it's going to get better and we're going to keep training and, uh, you know, we're going to do what we do every single day. Just eat healthy, feel your mind and your body, <laughs> just make sure that, you know, when 2021 comes around that we'll be ready. What other struggles do you think any Olympic athlete could face during this time with it being postponed, whether that's mentally, whether that's financially, outside of just the physical training? Hands down, financially. Um, hands, like, my income. Uh, sorry, it's going to make me scare a little bit. <laughs> um, because luckily I had a really good year last year, so I, I saved some of the money to the side, but I definitely feel a lot for my teammates who was really counting on this year. And um, it makes it it makes it hard because uh, you know they're they're really counting on that income of competing at these international competitions because some of them don't have sponsorships, some of them don't have you know I luckily I ju- I'm with Nike and I just signed with them and it's just been um, it's still but I'm more like on a bonus contract so if I do well at competitions then I get paid but it, what happens when there's no competitions? So it is definitely difficult, but, um, you know, I'm very, very excited to see where everything goes. I have faith, and I feel that, you know, athletes are going to do what they got to do to survive. And hopefully, you know, um, I know that right now a lot of the athletes are trying to talk to their um, national bodies and trying to see if there's any way for getting more money to the tier athletes to try to help overcome, you know, um, them not competing really this year. Would you say that overall you're mostly grateful for this decision or would you say that it's more of a challenge? I will say that I'm very grateful because, you know, the wants of what I want versus the needs of the people. It, 
it outweighs me every single time. You know, making sure, you know, if I need to get, like, having an extra job, that I can work with that and find a way. Um, but getting somebody else sick and putting their life in danger, you know, we got to be human first. You know, we are all people for a reason, and we want to make sure that, you know, we're not putting someone else's life in jeopardy.